everybody, Nick Smith here with JBNA. Now look, as one of our reseller partners, you know we often talk about storing and archiving your media content. You're deploying and installing and selling devices for your clients that make video and audio content. Media, lots of it. So we're always preaching to you to back it up, store it or archive it somewhere else. Protect the investment your clients have made, including the time it took for them to make the content. Unfortunately for many of our clients, most archive and backup systems start above $10,000 or more. Quantum is best known for its LTO drives, portable media perfect for long-term archiving of content. Now, these are drives with removable tapes that when you fill them up, well, you can pop out the tape and throw it on a shelf, reload the drive and start again. Now, LTO tapes are more durable and cost less than hard drive. Quantum also builds libraries for these tapes. These are small or large depending on your overall archiving need, but when you factor in the cost of software and servers to run it, this will push you into the $25,000 to $30,000 range just to start. Great for large corporations and media shops, but for smaller to mid-sized companies that need to archive but can't afford to spend that much, we need an alternative, one that comes with the software and can leverage Quantum's LTO expertise and quality. Enter in M-Logic. Now M-Logic manufactures the M-Tape. It's built with Quantum's LTO drive and they packaged it together with the necessary software and a Thunderbolt interface to make this nearly plug and play. Now add some CAT DV, also from Quantum, over the top to manage what's on each tape and you have an archive system that will last for years, all for under 7K. So let's do a quick walkthrough to show you how easy it can be to archive your media. Once you have your LTFS drivers loaded on your Mac and CatDV Pro installed, connect the drive and write down the serial number of the tape before you insert it in the drive. Now don't be alarmed, each new tape needs to be formatted and it can take up to an hour to complete this task. Now if you're thinking to yourself, wow, an hour to format a tape, remember, this is a tape designed to last longer than you'll ever need the content you put on it. Oh yeah, and it holds 18 terabytes of data. Did I forget to mention 18 terabytes? So look, I think an hour's worth it. Okay, your tape is formatted and showing up in the Mac drive list. This is where MLogic has made LTO easy. Their software and drivers have the LTO tape show up just like any other drive you could connect over Thunderbolt. Okay, now let's jump into CatDV. We're using a CatDV Pro license, which is only $399 and comes with the archiving feature. Drag your assets from a folder on your computer or hard drive into CatDV and watch it index them, pulling out all the metadata and creating thumbnails for remembering what these assets were later. Now select all the assets into CatDV and paste in or type the serial number of the tape you put in your drive to the notes field. Now it doesn't have to be here, you can rename another field or create one specific for this. We won't get into that today, but there are plenty of vids on that and more about CatDV over on YouTube. Hit the save button on top of the CatDV app and it's gonna ask you to name the catalog and then let's get to archiving. Okay, next up, we need a temporary folder to place the content while archiving it. I made one in my secondary drive and called it archive. I know, real original. Now, make sure all the assets are selected in CatDV. Go to Tools, Archive Media. On the box that pops up, hit Configure. On Archive System, use the pull down to select Other. Now in Archive Location, choose the Temp Archive folder we created earlier. Hit OK. Next, we're going to check include CatDV metadata and preserve file attributes. Now, this will create a metadata sidecar for humans in the future who find your content and keep any folders you have the content nested in. Now the fun part, hit archive. Okay, you're gonna see CatDV spin up and copy the content into your folder and it's also gonna create some XML sidecars. Okay, one more CatDV thing and we're done. Choose file, save as catalog, and save this to your temp archive location. This puts a CatDV catalog, which is any tags and metadata, as well as thumbnails in the archive in case you ever lose the one that's on your computer. Now open Finder, drag your temp archive folder onto the LTO drive and wait while all your stress and worry about losing your data from a drive corruption melts away. And this is a good time for coffee break. Are you interested in more videos like this? Want to learn more about the products and tools everyone else is using? Or just find something new to present to your clients? Then go to videos.jbanda.com to see more videos like this one. Videos.jbanda.com from the makers of Explanation.
Okay, now that your files are archived and backed up to the LTO drive, you can delete the temp folder. Once the tape is full, you can eject it, throw it in a trunk or a safe space and add a new tape. See, archiving shouldn't be hard. And with Quantum and MLogic, it doesn't have to be expensive either. Big thanks to both Quantum and MLogic for the gear to make this tutorial possible. If you're looking to add one of these to your next project or offer it to your customers, go to jbandit.com to find out more. And we'll see you all on the next episode.